Hey everyone, welcome once again to another Wednesday evening. Oh, I hope you are doing well. It's not like we have anywhere else to go in the world. We're all stuck at home, so we can uh, enjoy some games together. Hey, Graf Metal, thanks for coming, man. So, uh, if again, if you're uh, watching or lurking or don't know me, my name is Benjamin Rivers, and I'm a game designer here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I've made video games such as Home, Alone With You, and Worse Than Death for systems like PS4, Vita, Switch, Xbox One, Steam, iOS, and whatnot. You can check us out at Benjamin Rivers pretty much everywhere. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much. Uh, I really missed uh, the stream last week. I had to go to an industry event, so I wasn't able to do this. Um, and the whole time I was there, I was kind of thinking, man, we could be we could be beating Echo Knight instead of this thing I was doing. But uh, but say lovey. So tonight we are going to be continuing uh, Echo Knight 2 on PS1. I just did a quick test and I had like a weird thing happen, so I'm hoping... Uh, I'm hoping nothing terrible happens. I hope we'll be okay. Uh, and where we last left was trying to catch a dog. And we're still trying to catch a dog, so hopefully it doesn't take up 20 minutes of tonight. Um, but anyway, let's just get into it. We can chat while we do this. Bam! Oh, I guess I should have showed the game first and not that. Oh well. I'm using the... Uh, Appropriate mug, of course. Uh, let's see. Come on, Echo Knight. Oh, actually, wait. That's not doing what it's supposed to do, is it? Oh, my goodness. One sec. Oh, fantastic. Having technical difficulties already. Good job. We might be playing another game if this gets all screwy. Uh, man, what is this? E3? Everything's totally busted. I just played, I was playing uh, on the, hey sir, I was just playing on the uh, PlayStation Classic a minute ago, and of course now that we're live, everything's exploding. Okay, I found this on the web. No, F, F you, go away from me. So we'll try to figure this out. Um, anyway, so while this uh, while we get this sorted out, um, I've been playing Tokyo Mirage Sessions again on Switch. I'm like at the final thing about that until the enter the final dungeon. Uh, and playing games like that on Switch has turned me into like a total JRPG monster again. I just realized how much I love JRPGs, but specifically I love them when they're extremely convenient and when they have easy modes. So anything I can play on the couch while doing something else uh, is pretty nice. Okay, let's just try to get this slot to load. Okay, we seem to be working. That's where we were last time. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this dog, and he's got a wrench, aka a spanner, in his mouth, and we're trying to get it from him so we can go back up and continue the story sequence. Um, we had hit these buttons before that sort of raised and lowered these platforms, and the thing is, I don't, uh, like, can we drop off here so we can totally block them off? I'm actually not sure. Well, we're going to try this again. I had to sort of get used to controls again because, boy, it's been a while. So we're hitting R2 to look down. Makes sense. There's a crouch button. I don't remember what it is. Oh, it's, it's X, or cross, rather. So our cursor changes. When we get close enough, and I'm going to hit this take triangle. Give me that. Look at this horrific dog. No, nope. okay, we hit we hit circle. Off he goes. Yo, Roma, Roma, dude, thanks, man. Thanks for coming by. What was uh, what was the frustration? Who'd you have to kill to get here? Just. You know, at least you know it was worth it. We're just trying to get this damn dog. Oh, get over here. So this is this is what happened last time. Anyway, Echo Knight, everybody. Oh, we can't drop down. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I have a plan. I think I'm supposed to... Oh, Twitch being weird, dude. For me, it's all the it's it's totally like that. Like when I um when I hit up Seward, um, first of all, there's like some 
ad about vaping I never want to see. And uh, I get so much weird stuff going on. Okay, so the... Oh, I see, I see, I see. So the I think the switch for this is here. Oh no, it always does both, doesn't it? Dag nabbit. Okay, we gotta go back. I really hoped catching this dog doesn't take 25 minutes. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. Uh, has anyone in chat been watching the new season of Castlevania? Because the wife and I have been. Do you like it, Graf Metal? We're only, um, I can't remember how many episodes in we are. Four? Five? I feel like it's a bit of a slower burn this time around, but... I'm glad you're digging it. Okay, seriously, how do we... Dog. Give me the spanner. So it just keeps running away. So the walkthrough I have just says that, um, it just says the matter here is to catch the dog and take the spanner away. When you have it, it's like, okay. Well. Yeah, I guess season two was kind of a slow burn too, wasn't it? I think it. Uh, I think this season gets a lot more interesting. Um, the the farther in you get. Like, is there a puzzle here that I am not getting? Let's see. Yeah, episode one of season. One was just, my God, so excited. Okay, so if we do that, he will go here. Can I just like hit the switch and knock him off? Look at this. Look at this adorable little puppy. Let's just send him to his doom. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Since FAQ isn't helping, Let's just try it. What happens if you just hit the switch while he's on there? Huh. Oh, that's interesting. He's like a pot in Zelda. Come here, you. Oh, oh. Dag nabbit. Don't go there. Oh. Now if we hit a switch, he can't go anywhere. I see, I see. Ha ha! You're trapped here with me. My wife really wants a dog, by the way. I think I mentioned that last time. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Aha! Oh, you can tell it's North Americans who, uh... Um... Wait, did I just say no? Yes. Oh, he just took off. We did it, everyone. We got the wrench. That was awesome. So it turned out we had to use our brain, which clearly was the problem I was having. Um, what is... No. Can we save here? I forget. No, sorry, we need to find the phones in the wall. Oh god, it's, it's only been two weeks. It feels like it's been a month and a half since I've been here. Um... So yeah, let me tell you what's been going on with me while I do this. Uh, I've been... Can we just exit here? It won't open. Wait a tick. Oh, is that thing down here? The 
Look at him just turn around down there. Yeah, there he goes. So we, um, um, not sure how many of you know this, probably a bunch of you, but I used to take, uh, oh God, like over a decade ago, I started taking Japanese classes and graduated from a school here in the city. Uh, and I've been studying on my own ever since, which is to say, I'm kind of just been doing my best, which isn't great. So I've been thinking about going back for a while just to maybe do some classes. So I did a, I got to do, they let me do like a free trial class to jump in and see where I was at. Oh yeah, that's broken. Uh, and that did that did well. I was better off than I thought I was. Um, oh wait, can we use the wrench here? No, I feel like the wrench. One sec. So I did that, uh, and they wanted me to put me in a advanced, like a JLPT class to basically kick my butt into getting better. And I was like, yeah, I think I wanna do this. This sounds great. The problem is the only time slot they have for the next six months is this time slot. So I'm not sure what to do. So I feel like we got a good thing going with this. It won't open. What? How do we get it? One sec. I'm going to look at my FAQ. <sighs> oh, yeah. Go to the... Okay. You know, we got to go back down here. Oh, crap. Out of the way, dog. We've got to use the wrench. So... Oh, lever, or lever if you prefer. No, no, is there another, is there a spot on here that I'm not seeing? Wait, oh, look at that, so specific. Oh, wow. Hey, warm hat, what's up? What's up, buddy? We're fixing the gondola. Here we go. Oh, is a dog come? Oh, a dog's in with us. The, the dog AI. Rocking and rolling. That was one happy puppy. Yeah, man, we gotta do this. This game is just too good to pass up. Is the sound okay, you guys? I adjusted the levels a little bit, but I just wanna make sure. If it's too quiet, just let me know. Wine cellar. Okay, we're going, we're going. Awesome, thanks, man. Uh, I really love games set in quote unquote normal places, like that aren't all fantasy and stuff. I just really, oh shit. Um, I loved, the novelty of seeing games that were like set in cities or towns to me is never, never quite worn off. It's probably because, you know, you grew up playing like NES games and stuff. Everything was always set in a fantastical setting or sci-fi or... Oh man, I'm staring at the wall. Oh no! What's up here? MGS boss death scene here. Do we get a um? Do I now get a pet familiar, like a dog familiar? Rather? Oh, what's she grabbing? What's she, what is that? I can't necklace. Taking the opal neck necklace. Opal open necklace. Oh man, this kid's dead. Dino kun. Oh man. 
dead. Turn this dog into a hellhound. Let's go. Let's go kill some dudes. Oh. Oh, there's, there's Dino. So now we actually have to, I just read this in the walkthrough, we actually have to go and talk to the girl this time. But before she strangles us. Nope. Oh. Give her the necklace. Polly Dino. Oh, Dino. Oh, wait. Dino's like a full-grown dog in this. Man, he's pretty cute. Dino. So sad. Oh, thump. Well, that's some impressive physics. Horse head hook. <laughs> Get fucked, Dino. We take the horse head hook? That... That thing is horrific. All right. Oh, well, we did that. Um. Now we need to go to back inside the kitchen. We need to go to the employee waiting room. I don't, I don't remember where that is. Let's just check our handy map. Uh, hand map. Wait, there we go. Map, map. Kitchen. Join room. Music room. Servants waiting room. Entrance hall. Central wing. Bar lounge. Dining room. Courtyard west. That courtyard's really big, eh? Joined room. Music room. Well, hold on now. Where the heck is the, uh... Uh, employee waiting room. Oh, there's a big... Oh, servant's waiting room. Man, if only I could read, huh? That'd, that'd be a skill I wish I had. I think we gotta go this way. Let's go, um... Let's go save our effing game. How's that sound? Crap, sorry, I keep getting confused between cross and uh, circle. Dun, 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 dun. Overwrite the save data, yes. Well, considering there's no more, there are no more game events for the rest of the year, uh, I think this is gonna be the most exciting thing y'all see on the internet. Echo Knight 2. So I can exit right. Bow, bow. There's a lot of people who are going to be uh, filing some disappointing financial results this year. Oh man, it's only been two weeks, but like I already forgot how sweet this game looks. Here we go. I'm glad I looked at the walkthrough because I would not have remembered this. I'm actually not even sure if I looked at, uh, no, I did look at that last time, but I forgot that detail. Games are the best, look at this. Who doesn't want to do this? Thump. Whoa, what a suspiciously large painting. Dun, dun, dun. Let's check this out. Oh, that's cool looking hallway. Do we have power? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh it probably smells terrible in here. With no ventilation. Wooden desk. Let's just, you know me, I like to check stuff out. This is a simple desk without any drawers. It looks like it's been put through a considerable amount of use. 
We take the girl's diary. Yes, we will. Now, there's no like look command, is there? No. Okay, we have a diary. Um, so, I guess we just take off. Oh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Sure. That wasn't creepy at all, so we gotta go south. Um, let's see here. Corner stand. Already. I'm just looking at the uh, walkthrough because I kind of forget a few things. Uh, let's see here. Go to the central lounge. I totally forget what that is. Central wing corridor, entrance hall, music room, servants waiting room, bar lounge. Well, I guess they mean the lounge, so let's try that. It's a lot less stressful without the ghost girl coming after you. Squeak. So there's also... Uh, there was... Is it in here? There's supposed to be something with a keypad. Keypad? What am I talking about? Uh, that requires a password. I don't think that's here, though. Or is that down here? This table. That's just a cart. No. No. I guess not. That's just the jukebox. Central lounge. Where's that? Do they mean the dining area? Maybe they mean the dining area. I don't remember where the... Th they mentioned the password you need, or passcode you need to get into this one spot, and I'm glad they put it down because... I don't remember getting the hint that would have given us access. Ooh. Swinging about wildly. That's a door. It's a tableware shelf. That ain't nothing. Well, this is this is confusing. Cigar lounge. Oh, whew. that's better. What's this? Good old ashtray. An ashtray has been placed here. Thanks. Oh yeah, maybe it's to get into there. There's a fancy painting. It's a painting of the water at twilight. Man, we're really in the smoking lounge. I. Left my uh, smoking jacket at home and everything. There's a cabinet with glass windows here. Whoa. All right then. That was a bust. Uh, sorry, just looking this up again. Go to the central lounge and touch the number lock pad. Dining hall. Yeah. 
know, I don't know where the central lounge is. Well, we're gonna go check out every room until we find it. That's what we're gonna do. Squeak. Oh, is that the number? No, that's the, that's the uh, power box. I believe. That's the music room, which we've been to before. I think the transitions um, are pretty quick. Back in the West Wing corridor. Dining room. Oh, hold on. This walkthrough is using words that don't mean the things they think they mean. Central wing corridor. Oh, here we go. Whoa, that can't be good. Ooh. Something over there. Cool. That's not scary at all. Somebody went somewhere. Let's just do a quick safety save, shall we? Just in case. Boom. Locked. Oh, right, number pad. So apparently we had seen some Roman numerals last time. I don't remember that. If I don't know if you guys either or do either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this walkthrough. I'm gonna cheat the game and myself. The animation's really nice. Dun dun dun! Oh, well, I didn't know this was the central lounge because I had never been here before. Thanks, walkthrough. You're terribly written. Uh, Stuart, I was listening to the P1P podcast um, today and your uh, discussions of uh, writing walkthroughs that you hated or strategy guides that you hated was really interesting. Oh, scary. Well, that's a happy painting. Let's just... Um, everyone's been playing hide-and-go-seek. Oh, so cute. Oh, we saw the girl hiding under the table before. Okay, kid. You bet. Hold on, let's look at these books. There's a wide array of books here. Sure love the reading. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh gosh. Take the red bracelet. Let's check out this creepy ass painting. There's a painting of a scene in a cave looking out at the lake. Okay, so there was totally that girl hiding. Oh, do we need to, one sec, do we need to mess with that? Distribution board. Uh, I'm just gonna check here. Okay, uh, it was back in the dining room. Wolf medallion, yeah, totally, man. Choga choga. On Seward Stream, we came up uh, yesterday. We came up with a pretty good metal band name. I've already forgotten what it was. 
Okay, so this little puke is hiding under here. And we're going to equip. Wait, where's my wolf medallion? Oh, actually, maybe. Wait. Oh, we have to equip it right in our status menu. Wolf medallion. Well, you were wrong. Hi, Kore. Sheep's gold coin. Wah, 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 wah. Passed off to the next life. Okay, sheep's gold coin. Is that... Was there someone else hiding? Well, let's go back and see. I don't like looking at the walkthrough too much because I don't want to just spoil the whole thing for me. Hey, Cerebus. Thanks for coming by, man. Um, is, was my notification too too late? Would it be better if I sent out one earlier? Okay. Did we? Was there only one other? Oh, there's four more. Okay. I just ignored my phone making noise. That's uh, fair. Okay. 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 So now we got to go find other people. Okay. Well, this is fun. I'm just gonna do a quick save since uh, we sort of kicked this quest off, and we'll I'm not even gonna look at the walkthrough. We'll just figure things out. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just fine. Anything to keep me away from being productive. Oh, I hear you on that one. I've actually had a, so far, surprisingly productive week. The last um, little while has definitely not been productive. But this week's going well. I've got about... Uh, I think I'll have two or three surprises for you guys in the next little while. Oh, sir, it was cool. What classes? Wait, have we... Is this new? Oh, it's totally new. Isn't it? There, there is a candle here. Can we not take it? I thought we could take the candle. Damn you, straight to hell. I guess we can light the candle, but we can't take it. Uh, yeah, man. You gotta get that stuff. Gotta get that stuff done. Ryoma, I don't think we've been in this hallway. This is a different hallway. Oh, service. That sounds cool. Please tell me more. Okay, we'll leave. The goddesses ring the bell of dawn. Oh, I love these puzzles. Oh, creepy. Cerberus, how did that happen? Interesting. So dude won't come out until the morning, but maybe we can do something about that, but we can go in here. Huh, no kidding, huh? Holy shit, look, look at this room. This is not creepy at all. Oh, Jesus. That's our first jump scare in a while. Oh, look how cool this looks. These sort of 32-bit, uh, like these PS1 era uh, environments just remind me of how fun it was to make Doom levels. And uh, 
and uh, do 3D levels and just learn to create environments with whatever tools you had. Just so fun. I love this stuff. I was saying to some other game design friends that one of the things that's kind of um, uninteresting about games these days is that everything is like, for instance, I was just talking to a friend and like, we can just download assets and create a photorealistic room in like 20 minutes. And it'll look a thousand, like it'll look production ready a thousand times better than you could ever have imagined. Um, but there's something not terribly fun about that. I love making versions of things. It's like, you know, like I draw comics and stuff. And if I just took photos and made a comic out of photos, that's one way to do it, but that's not fun. What's fun is sort of learning to render things so they look like the things you want, but express something while doing so. And for me, game design is also like that. It's a valve. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. Oh, well, um, why is that a uh, graph metal about Duke levels? Did like the tools not some, uh, not get updated? I haven't made a Duke level in tw 25 years, 24 years, something like that. Oh, oh crap. Oh, this is probably gonna be bad. I'm sure this is gonna be just fine. Don't don't go in. That looked like one of the gates from home. Oh yeah, service. Uh, did you hear that like Doom sixty four is probably gonna have extra levels when they release the port? I think it's, it might be based on the the PC port. That's interesting. Dude, why do we go with him? We could have just said, oh, sorry, man, I gotta go help some ghost children. Guess we're gonna... Guess we're gonna try. Oh, uh, look at that water. Look at the way it undulates. That's so cool. Oh yeah, no kidding, sir. It was in that giant collection of yours? Yeah, I've got a... I've got an N64 with that sweet controller. And I do have Doom 64, which we have not played, but we will be playing it. Um, that uh, we'll actually have a guest for that, I think. Crank Hole! Oh man, that's the name of my um, post-punk uh, band. Crank Hole. Yeah, the, uh, the Retro Fighters controllers are exceptionally good. That's the one that, wow, that I have. Man, 90s, dude. Could not... I I think until Resident Evil, I had never seen a crank hole before. Or a hexagonal uh, slot in a wall. And now in games, that's all I can see. Okay, so we've got a new quest. Yeah, Graph Metal, I'm not sure, but I think the person... Um, I think the person or the team doing the port for Bethesda is that team. Please call me if you need transportation to the research facility. Sure. Ooh, another place. Our, uh, RNC Ruins Research Chief, Bridget Major Majorell. So, are we... We're not screwed, are we? This isn't like some progress-breaking bug. Oh, God, I hope not. Because I can't leave. Yeah, playing cards, crank holes. This, man, this way to set the mood. Look, it's just like a couple 2D layers with transparency. That nice undulating water. So sweet. Dot, 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 dot. 
can you call number? I don't have a phone to, I can't. Oil lighter, dried herb, astral piece, compass, newspaper, girl's diary. Like the only thing that looks like it fits here is this coin. I think it, I think this is gonna work. Cause otherwise, crap, sorry. Come in. Get in the crank hole. Sorry. What if I just give this to him? Uh, what's interesting is, sir, is the, the dithering just actually adds like a lot of color depth. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh wait, this is the wharf too. Oh wow, okay, so you have to try to take that. That was not um, super clear. Right, this is the wharf that we're supposed to get in. Uh, that we the, we heard the radio. Southern wharf. Not like Kapla wharf, but you know. Is the door open? Can we exit? Uh, sound like he locked the damn door. Uh, I'd also like to point out, just being stickler here, um, this is not a wharf, this is a dock. A wharf is when it's horizontal against a landmass. If it's sticking out, it's a dock. I need, I need to have a discussion with the translators about that. Uh, clearly there's some shenanigans going on here. Yes, Cerebus, wharf is a Klingon. And that's W-O-R-F. We're gonna have to talk about that later. Wait, oh, hey, there's a dead body down there. I guess we can probably get something out of that. That must be the dude we heard on the radio. Oh, can we just target him? How did his body end up here? Oh. Oh, shit. Uh, this looks bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's interesting. Mother effer! Can we do something? Hmm. Oh! Oh god, there's no run button. Oh, he's behind me! Oh, son of a... What do we do? Guys, I'm kind of scared. Can we... Do I have anything? No, I don't have anything at all. Yeah, he was gonna whack me with a gun. I totally thought something else was gonna happen. Okay, one sec. Oh, that was, huh? That was Brian's corpse. The, the low poly. I totally forgot the dude who died in the hallway. I totally didn't re realize that.
go to the east courtyard? The heck is that? Central courtyard. Oh, there's another door. We just gotta... But this is... Whoa. That was, that was pretty tucked out of the way. <laughs> Graph metal, that's funny. Okay, so there's something to get here. I like that there's like a little chase sequence. It's just kind of like extremely awkward. What's this? What's this? That's great. Come on, go, go. Take the damn herb. Oh, that's cool. There's different pause menu screens. Okay, let's just use that herb. Blink, blink, blink. Eastern Courtyard. Uh, they want us to go to... Um... Oil filling station. I don't know which is which, but we're gonna... Oh, son of a... Wait. All the best games have different pause menus. Wait, you say my games are good? Sir, what the have? Okay. Can we get a container with oil? We just blow this place up. What the hell do we do? Oh, I pressed. Okay. Go coin, girl's diary, compass, astral piece, oil lighter. None of this is gonna work. Um, okay, there should be something on a shelf here. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess I gotta be a lot more, um, up, uh, observant. So this is... Take the notebook... Oh, one sec. I just... Go to the garden management room. This feels like I would be getting very confused very easily. Oh, at least that's on. This is the right door. I think it's the way we just came. No, nope, this is where I want to go. Oh, this is cool! Oh man, look how cool this looks. It's Nemesis. Okay, they want us to go to the garden maintenance room. There's a notebook we're supposed to get. I mean, I guess if you kind of keep your distance, he's not a huge threat. Is that the generator? Holy crap, this puzzle got like real, uh, real complicated. Okay, so we got a gasoline can. There's storage shelf. What else is in here? It's a tool storage locker. Oh, good call, Graph Metal. Did you finish that game? I did. Oh, hold on. That looks suspicious. 
burlap sack. It's, um... It's, uh... It's... There's some design things with that game that I'm not crazy about. The uh, artwork's really nice, but, uh... Oh, hold on. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was... Rather a small thing to have to find. Yeah, this, the way it's designed is... Whoa! This is cool. Herb seed. That's funny. Nice old man joke, Sewer. Come on. Oh, crap! Uh, is he related to Gillian Seed? Oh, crap. Getting shot, stuck on geometry. It's like Goldeneye or some shit. Okay, I'm pausing to look at this thing. Okay, so we gotta use the... We can operate the generator. Okay, it's just like a one button kind of thing. Man, they're being very uh, literal about these animations. It's so sweet. I love how every the tech the textures on pretty much every side are the same texture, but they just stretch them differently so they look slightly different. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Generators on. We gotta go back to the garden. In the garden of Eden. Okay. Um, Oh wait, can we turn the light on? With the generator? There's a valve. Is this a valve? Oh, this looks like a valve. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this thing before I get shot. Um, uh, take the notebook from the table, which we did. Use gasoline, return to the... Garden, open the valve, go to the greenhouse, and push the switch near the bridge. How the hell would you have figured this out? So there's another... Uh, another... Whoa, crap! Let's just hope he doesn't shoot us. Oh, that greenhouse looks sweet. This is uh, rather complex, isn't it? Like, I have no idea how you would have figured any of this out under duress. What, what, what? <clears throat> uh, take the notebook. Push the switch near the bridge. Oh, that'll get him to go away. What switch? That switch. Here goes nothing. Oh, his lantern went out. I... I never in a million years would have figured that out by myself. I would have been doing this section over and over and over again. Oh, buddy dropped something. Oh, crank! Looks like that'll go in the crank hole. Thanks, Stuart. Stu Thanks, Stuart. Thanks, buddy. Well, now that we're not running... Oh, cool. So the valve would have turned on the sprinkler. Like, okay, in... In retrospect, I understand everything that just happened. Um, but at the moment, I would have not figured this out. Ooh, hothouse. Stone monument. 
That service only the finest. There's a slate here. We where 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 where. Interesting. This really doesn't get old, does it? I could do horror adventure puzzle game uh, anything for the rest of my life. This is just the best. So for those of you, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I don't think I've mentioned this on chat before, but for those of you who do follow me on Instagram, I hope you've seen that I've been posting um, previews from pages from a horror comic that I'm working on right now. If not, you should go check that out. Uh, Bender and Rivers Inc. on Instagram. Just saying. It's pretty cool. I'll be talking more about that later. Okay. Crank hole. Crank it. Seduce crank hole. Boat launch. Can we get that thing down there? That's nice. This is Christina's handkerchief. Whoa, we're going through time. Man, a save point would be super sweet. Uh, I have no filters on. Christina <laughs> Collins. Uh, so no, it's just raw, beautiful, dither pixels. Anchor City Hospital. Oh, look how good this looks. Oh, we got a sad hospital scene. Seward, agreed. <laughs> so Seward, a friend of mine and I have been playing uh, the English translation of Sakura Tyson on Saturn. And it's so damn good. I actually just ordered um, Sakura Tyson 1 and 2. <laughs> Uh, from an eBay seller in Japan. It's um, I'm so down. Uh, another uh, friend here in the chat, uh, Ryoma Duder, we played the... Um, oh, we played the uh, uh, PS2 Sakura Tyson. Um, so long. Was it so long? And I forget what it's called. Uh, and I was like, I've never played any of these games before. And we were... I don't know, 40 minutes in that game? I was like, I guess I have a new favorite game franchise. This is amazing. So, uh, playing the Saturn original has been absolutely incredible. It's so good. Oh, sorry, I guess I should have been listening to this, huh? Hey, Kinet, thanks for coming by. So long, my love. Thanks, Ryoma. Yeah, so now I'm just a Sakura Tyson super fan. I can't wait. I've been listening to the soundtrack all day while working today. So good. Oh, we got a bloody handkerchief. Cool. Oh, Stuart, that's hardcore. The, uh, like, the battle system in number one is... Oh, we have a boat now. Um... Uh, the battle system is, in the first one, is, like, a little clunky. But, man, it's so good. Keynet, man, you gotta get a Saturn. Play those those copies you got sitting on a shelf. Uh, service, yeah, I I want to, but I kind of just man, I'm turning into like CG or something. I kind of just play games on Switch now. Like I don't want to play games on my PS4 because it just sounds like a jet engine. So I'm hoping they will have a Switch port uh, soon. Okay, so we can go to the mansion, the chapel, and the ruins. East Shore Ruins. Yeah, Sakura Tyson is the best. You know it's the best because there was a console, or sorry, there were commercials with uh, the Sakura Centro. That's how you know it's good. I just hit the wrong button. Huh. Yeah, PS4 Pro is just, man, those things are not, they're not built very well. Oh man, like, uh, what year did this game come out again? 95? 96? 96? Is that right? 
They kind of beat Silent Hill 2 to the punch here, huh? By like a few years. Uh, yeah, everything I want to play now is basically a JRPG of some kind. I gotta finish Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I want to play Star Ocean. I'm gonna be playing uh, Final Fantasy. Um, hey, Ghostman. Uh, I want to play, like, three Soccer Wars games. Clock Tower 3 will happen at some point. Oh, speaking of Final Fantasy 7, let me interrupt this guy for a sec. They just announced today a uh, North American Final Fantasy 7 Symphony Tour. And five minutes after it went up, I bought tickets for my wife and I because I couldn't, um, I just couldn't hold off. I can't wait to go. I've been wanting to go to, like, the symphony and go see more classical music. And, of course, the first time I actually do buy tickets, like, on a whim, it's for a nerd concert, but whatever. Oh, man, I can use, like, a quest log now. Fishing rod, research facility. Hey, Cyrus, I'm pretty sure if you, um, make that, uh, make that request, so we'll be able to get to that in about one and a half years. My kingdom for a telephone so we can save our game. My time is valuable. Sir, we need to get you to do full-time streaming. You need to find a rich, rich donor. Hey, look, like, there, there are no game shows this year, so, like, someone... Someone's gonna fill that time, right? Might as well be you. Right on, Graph Metal. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Find me a sugar daddy. Sugar mama, whatever. Just give me some sugar, baby. I think that's what you're trying to say. Come on, you know all the people in the industry. Phil Spencer's got to have a couple extra hundred thousand dollars kicked around. If Greg did two 24-hour person, yeah, well, the the joke's on Stewart now because um, you got to get him to start over because now he's got to do it with uh, P5 Royal, and then at that point it'll take him another 24 hours because the game's got like an ex extra 30 hours of content or something. This game is awesome, by the way. Did anyone else notice how awesome this game is? Appears to be an oil tank. I have herb seed, bloody handkerchief. Squeak. So we need oil. I can refill an oil lamp. There's a lot of oil lamp refilling spots. Oh, I guess I should read this really obvious sign, huh? Oh, Keenet, I'm totally going to get that game. The demo was okay. Uh, it was mostly just story-related stuff, but it's bas it is it is Persona 5 too, so I'm totally down for that. The ruins have been closed off due to the cave-in. Entries prohibited until further notice. Yeah, dude, I know, Seward. I know, man. I've never played a single Muso game, but this basically just feels like a cool action like Persona. You don't have to think uh, about Muso. Just... Oh, this looks really cool. Oh, wait, what do you need for the board? Did I need to take it? Oh, are we screwed? For scramble service? I know, right? Because it's who knows when it's actually coming out here. We're in an office. Oh, hold on. Save our damn game. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Um, been hearing good things about it. Oh, so you know what's funny? Just before I was playing this, uh, like before we started streaming, I was playing uh, Rival Schools on PS1. And in the background of one of the arenas, they have actual images and like text for the editor-in-chief of Famitsu Magazine at the time. Like, man, conflict of interest much? Earthenware. 
Oh, look at these little doilies. This looks like a room in Yakuza. Sofa. It's a sofa for two. We would call that a love seat. Or a Chesterfield, since we're in Canada. Powers out. The James Milky of Japanese. Oh, snap. Snap, Seward. Oh, that's creepy. It's a massive desk. Uh, Dragon Quest Heroes games. Hmm, yeah. Rival School sequel for Dream... Oh, Project Justice! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, I did play that on Dreamcast. I totally forgot about that. Damn it, I don't have a Dreamcast. That didn't get ported anywhere else, either. Did it? Okay, so we're not going to be able to see bro until we turn the lights on. So let's figure this out. Uh, Seward, some of your stories from this week's episode about EGM, pretty interesting. Well, I guess they're always interesting, but... Just love hearing, uh... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, that's bad. Oh, she's drawing me to her? Oh, creepy! Can we light? No, we can't. So I guess I could fill my oil lighter. So what? We can't go in here. Where'd she go? Oh, son of a bitch. It looks like there's stuff that we can do. But I don't know. Man, Capcom was on fire. Between Saturn, PS1, and Dreamcast. And that was one of the few times where uh, the... Oh, son of a bitch, let's try to get out of here. The North American packaging actually wasn't bad. They had that, uh, they had the North American line. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this and check this out. Mm hmm 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 Wait, it says simply equip your lamp and she'll disappear. Where the F is the lamp? What's your... Okay. I think we gotta go back. I think we missed some stuff. So we're gonna do that. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so uh, that's where we came. What does that say? Research room. I think this is where we actually have to go. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, lab, lab room. Not where I want to be, not where I want to be. Konami was not on Dreamcast at all, as far as I know. Oh, oh God. Get the hell out of here, man. This is not fair. Sleeping quarters. I'm going to assume this is what this meant. Oh, she's... There's no sound effects for her doing her thing, but... Oh yeah, cast in a Dreamcast! Oh, I totally forgot about that! Okay, we have to get some stuff out of here before bad shit happens, but... I really want to read this poster. A reminder to all members, every week one crew member will be responsible for cleaning the lab coats. This week's member is Ken McDonald! Alright, Ken. Yeah, I remember, I think there were a few screenshots. Fishing rod, there we go. What a weird ass side quest we have to do. Da -na -na -na. Um, John's lab coat. <laughs> nice service, nice. 
Fish and rods. Oh, it's through my stomach. Hungry. Suspended shelf. Man, that's very detailed. Fish and <laughs> My fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Farquhar, was born on uh, February 29th. So we're always like, you're four years old, you know, because kids are stupid. And she's like, yep, yeah, that's right, kids. I'm four years old. Timmy, stop eating glue. Actually, it wasn't that class that I did have to sit beside the guy who... Son of a bitch. Who ate glue. Like, for legit was eating glue every day. Oh, they did a port of silent scope. Leap here, baby. Man, silent scope. I remember the ad... For some reason, I was fascinated by the ads for silent scope for PS2. I don't know why. I was just really, really interested in that ad. No, Farquhar. F-A-R-Q-U-A-R, -A I think. Shrek. I can tell you have kids because you remember anything that happened in Shrek. Yes, I do remember the whole thing. I remember EGM had the... Um, uh, EGM showed the difference. Oh, Keydad, for real? The damn chef. She painted clothes on them. Whoa, dude, seriously, that's hardcore, man. Fish and rod. Oh, nicely Whoa. done. Oh, I have to allow your comment, Keenad, your salty comments. I don't remember that, Keenad, at all. Wait, Mario Advance 4 was which one? Mario 3? He looks like he's gonna go beat someone with that fishing rod, like beat him to death. Can't wait to see the look in that cheeky chef's face. Oh. Okay, so we've... Oh, can we get in here now? Oh, right on. I don't think I had any of the Mario Advance games. Or did I? I can't remember. I've never played Mario Advance, whichever... Oh, fuck, finally, a lamp. The one that had Mario 2, because I just remember... Chris Kohler and whoever else making fun of the Toad voice. Oh, one sec. <laughs> Holy crap, Stuart, that's amazing. Lake Southern Wharf, Chapel. Okay, same radio signals. Oh. No! F this noise. Uh... No. Lamp. Wait, didn't I just get the lamp? Mark got an R E. Oh wow, Stuart! I don't remember that part at all. That's interesting. Oh, we gotta equip the lamp. Jesus is not a GBA. He'd be an Xbox. <laughs> Explain that train of thought, Kinead. Yeah, quick. Uh, good call. Oh, I never noticed before it says what body part it's usable for. For the hands? For the body. Okay, she's gone. So now we can fill this up at those fill-in stations. And we got a... an herb. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Keenet, I get it. I mean, I don't, but I understand. Look at this giant meat hook. Oh, that... Man, that water just makes me want to take a nap. Oh, so gentle. So calming.
Uh, Keenan, I remember you telling me us that story. That's hardcore, dude. <laughs> Seward, I just saw your comments. <laughs> you're a real troublemaker when you come to these chats, aren't you? You're always so you're always so uh, well behaved on uh, your streams, but now I understand. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I have an aunt who's like very religious. Um, I was the one who basically turned my mom into an atheist. Just was like, just give in, mom. Just search your feelings. Because she basically was and just wouldn't admit it. Uh, hold on, oil tank. Do we, can we, can we? Can I, can I do something with this? Oh, right on. That's great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we know how to fill an oil lamp from this particular period in time. So now we can go back because the ghost girl isn't going to mess with us. My kids might watch my archives. It's true. Sir, you're going to be like a you're going to be like a porn star who grows up and has kids, and then they're like, "Oh God, no." He will never harness his persona. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I love I love nerd jokes so much. Nice and bright. <laughs> Sir, I keep forgetting about that. That is amazing. Okay, before we turn around and see the scary ghost, let's just save our game. Well, man, when I come and visit you uh, uh, on the East Coast, you have to take us for a tour. We'll get it all on video. We'll do like a, oh, we should, I should just somehow get like some temporary insane data plan and we should just do like a live 12 hour Twitch stream. Donairs, high school visits, the whole, the whole deal. It's funny, when I go visit my brother, he shows me where Neil Young went to school, but I feel like that's a little bit cooler. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Oh, poor office lady. Okay, Keena, we'll do. We were actually we were uh, we had um, we had flights booked because we were gonna go to GDC, but we pulled out before all the madness happened. And luckily, we were basically able to bank that uh, flight money for something else. So we are planning. I'm thinking maybe September. I don't know. Depends on whether the world gets the plague this year and we all die. They're tearing that place down this year. Really, just too filthy, sir. Ah, this is a cool puzzle. Now, do I have to leave the room? Or can I just quietly t put on a lab coat? This is like MGS3. Uh, FYI, I'm doing some traveling in October and November. Okay, yeah. I might be giving a talk in October, I'm not sure. Uh, but, um, so if, if you're around September, I'm hoping to just kind of, like, plan a trip and hopefully it doesn't interfere with the class I have to teach. Disney and Scoop Fest. Seduce Fest. Oh, so maybe I have to leave? Wait, did I put the coat on? If I'm lucky. Oh yeah, you're free you're a free man now, aren't you? So you can you can seduce all you want. Equip. Johnson. That's right, it's me, John. Well, it's because Ken's a slacker.
This is cool. This game is cool. This is a cool game. It's a lot better than a bunch of other nonsense I've looked at lately. Man, I wish games were good. Artifact. Apparently it was made of sturdy tipper. Okay, so now that we can... <sighs> oh, oh, someone made one, uh, Keyneth? I mean, if you want to cheat yourself in the game, I guess. If you can live with yourself. Must be the cabinet we kept all their documents. You know, the old document cabinet. No smorking. It's pretty impressive that they were able to go in and replace all the textures for this game too. This looks like the skull of an adult. Fragment of some kind of artifact. I've actually never, I've never even played it, um, Keynet. Uh, Keynet, instead of building a gaming PC, you should come hang out with Surt and I. Eat donairs until you burst. Oh, ho, safe. Uh, would Sekiro serve us? Yeah. Salt looking safe here. Salt safe, bro. Looks pretty sweet. Different materials are built this set of drawers. Oh man, like so specific. I love the flavor text. The scientists must have used this desk for the research. That's a research desk, all right. Why not both? Agreed. Okay, so can I use the safe? Or do I have to already know a combo somehow? Can we just cheat? Can we cheat ourselves in the game? Oh no. When I heard Grappling Hook Ninja, the first thing I thought of was uh, Tenchu. Excuse me. So it looks like there's some stuff we need to get. Okay, I won't... Oh, God, well, you... Okay, well, Cerebus, you just said all my least favorite words. Tarantino, Souls-like. That would make me just quit video games forever. Okay, we can freely wander a bit, so let's... Oh, hey. What up, homie? Yo, Yo John. John. Key Ned. We'll figure it out. Franco no koto wa yeah, we're, we're, we're Capo James Franco. What's up? Excellent. Excellent. ところで入れなまだ well, it's in the name. That's what a locker does. Are you excited? I I don't even... I think... I can't remember if we've even talked about this on the chat service. I don't even know what that game is. Oh, we can go talk to her as Ken now. We can seduce her as Ken. Wait, what are you doped up on? Or should I ask? Will I, will I get arrested if I know the answer to this? She Barbie. <laughs> What's sad, Keenan, is that it took me a moment to be like, what are you talking about? Oh. Sleeping quarters. So we were in the... Wisdom teeth surgery Friday morning. Oh, oh God, fun. All, all four teeth? I had to, I did a, a all like complete wisdom, uh, Teeth removal, like 20, 25 years ago, twenty some years ago, 
And I learned very quickly that I was not cool with some kinds of anesthetic. And I vomited for seven hours straight. Ah, Junka. Forget about James Franco. Keenan, maybe it'll be like, uh, like as cool as Birds of Prey. Um, something a bit more ass kicking. Okay, some shit's going down. Man, this story is great. Like, there's so much cool shit going on. I'm totally wrapped up in this. Okay, so we wear lab coats. We talk to people. Hey, don't try to take my lab coat. Oh, someone's on to me. Wow, service, that would that would suck a lot. Thirty-seven. Man, Birds of Prey was a great movie. Just like some some technical shit they did with filming that movie. It was just super impressive. What, speaking of filming a movie, what the hell is going on here? That's the projection screen. Yeah, service. That sucks, man. Gambate. I hope everything goes okay. Okay, so we switch lab coats. Uh, let's go in here and save since we've done a few things. Let's go. Oh wait, this is the room we have to go in. Good thing. Well, it's fine. Dun, 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 dun. So now that you're all here, I will repeat what I said earlier. I mean, I have a conundrum. I want to go back to my Japanese school, but the only day that I can go take the advanced class I want is this time. I don't know what to do. I tried to sweet talk my uh, teacher into coming up with another idea, but it was not to be. I don't know what other day we could possibly do this. Yeah, but like, Seward's got all the other good slots. He's got all the good genes, I've got all the recessive genes. Oh, Ken. Oh, researching tower. Yeah, I'm liquid. Walking around shirtless all the time. The best jeans are relaxed fit. <laughs> oh my god, Seward. Oh, you... Terrible. Oh, look, what is this, like, work guilt thing she's got going on? I can't leave. Can I just... Seward hogging all the comfy jeans. <laughs> Perfect. Nice key, Ned. Nice one, done. So I can't... How do I get her to leave? Oh. Give me this effing pen. Give me the pen. You've got... You've got my pen. Anyone... That's a Kiss in the Hall reference. Excuse me. You've got my pen. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Um. Oh, there's some items we were supposed to get. Oh my god, so we missed something in here. Okay. You've got my pen. Research room. There should be a magnifying glass that we can take. Oh, maybe I just didn't open this. Nope. Nope. Where the heck balls is that magnifying glass? Oh. Oh, in the drawer? Let's get all Shenmue on here. Whoa. Oh, duh, didn't press the open button. Take that, Ryo Hazuki. 
Oh, man, they really make you work for this. That's a cool looking magnifying glass. -na 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 -na. Okay. So we should be equipped as. Um, Michael. Do we have Michaels? I don't think we do. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, Kina, it's pretty. Pretty big month, or pretty big uh, year for that kind of stuff. I've only, I'm only down for a couple of those games though. Okay, hold on, we have Ken's lab coat, John's lab coat. How do we get Michael's? He told us not to, okay, one second. Take Ken's uh, equipment, go to the office, go to the research room, take the magnifying glass, return to the office and equip John's suit. Oh, no, now we... Okay, sorry. I'm reading this the wrong way. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. Um, I haven't played a single one of Sony's first-party games this generation. I don't, I don't actually like any of them. Like their, uh, their big temple franchises. I won't be playing Last of Us or Ghost of Tsushima or Spider-Man or any of that stuff. Yeah, none of that. Wait, John's? Do I want to be John or Ken? I think I want to be John. Wait. Yeah, none of none of the what they've been put, doing this uh, generations for me. Yeah, were you a big fan of that, Keynet? I can't get into the Xenoblade games, I just don't like the um, art style. And Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is just, I watched videos and I was like, nope. I don't want, I don't want my wife walking in on me while I play this game, this is, can't do it. Yes, Cerebus, they are. <laughs> Although I have seen a bunch. Yes. It's funny, because I actually liked Xenoblade Chronicles X, like, for a while. I didn't play it. I don't know, I played it for probably, like, 15 hours. Um... But I don't like the original Xenoblade. It just doesn't do anything for me. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I've been chatting and not paying attention to what she was saying. Um, give the pen. Uh, so, go to projection room. Oh, okay. I gotta be dressed as someone else. So we gotta get all kenned up here. Now we go to the projection room. And now we can get the thing. I really like how they have these stories very well um, contained into these little areas. Like, it's really smart. You're moving from, like, sort of general area to general area, and all your stories take place within a sort of specific spot. Um, so you're not backtracking a huge amount, and you're learning, and the plot is sort of growing and being added to. It's really smart. This game's pretty damn good. Oh, do we? Oh, one sec. Oh, God. Dun oh, okay, yeah, our thing went out. Can I re-equip the lamp? Oh. Oh, crap. Okay, awesome. Well, we better get the hell out of here. We gotta go, uh, we gotta go refill the lamp before bad things happen. Crap, 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 okay. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, make it. <laughs> Same for Kagropolis. Let's go and refill the lamp. That's cool. Uh, isn't it right here? Yes, whew. 
Already, already. No, oh, wait, no, we just have to... There we go. Clunk, 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 clunk. Okay, random, uh, random question for the chat. Um, ugh. I'm not saying I'm gonna take your suggestion, but I want to ask your opinion. If, um, if I was to say I was making another game right now, what would you want it to be? It's not Simran Kagura, I can tell you that. Match 3 mobile game. I hate you, Serpus. Go to hell. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles 3. <laughs> hey, Nemva. Oh, crap. I didn't even see you before, dude. Sorry about that. Hey, where's this dude? Ah, so you have to send Oh, and a pen. Sega City inspired adventure game with Snatcher style graphics. That's a good suggestion. Nothing wrong, booby ninjas. So no pen wa, Mizumi Sengan no Tode Mitsketa. Find a way to turn storytelling into rogue like I hate you, warm hat, go to hell, die. Yeah, Nambava, me too. Don't show that pen to Alan at the office. Okay, well, let's 100% do that thing you told me not to do. <laughs> Break it to Konami, it's still a I tried. I did try. Oh man, what is this? Worse than death? You got like a projection puzzle? The ruins found at the base of the Clancy Grounds have been split into three areas. There are the stone pillar structures, the caverns, and the tower on the west shore. We've been able to confirm that the artifacts found in all three of these regions are from the same time period. There's no doubt that the residents of this area long ago are the ones who built these structures. Get it? It's like an old-timey newsreel. We realized through our observations of the artifacts from that age that the people had their own set of customs and incantations. This is amazing. We have also theorized that this area was of particular religious or ritualistic importance to the ancient people. Whoa, it's the Dragon Sword from Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, one relic which may have been central to their faith was the so-called Soul, Soul Stone. Never yeah, uh, If I could just sweet talk Nintendo into just letting that IP go, that'd be, that'd be great. Uh, according to the documents we have translated, the Soul Stone was believed to bring about immortality. Uh... Their religious documents claim that by sacrificing human lives in the soul stone, one could achieve eternal life. Okay, this is getting tiresome. The details have been lost to time and decay, but we expect to recover more. Oh, it's the Doom Slayer. We found the Doom Slayer. That's what this game is going to turn into. Soul Stone, Soul Calibur prequel? Exactly. It's like a prequel to Toy Story 3. Um, That was cool. That was really cool. Man, this game, this game rocks. Yeah, well, suit. I mean, technically, suit only worked on one game in that series, so it's not even his. But I wonder. I know people who know Suda Fifty One. Have I met Suda Fifty One? No, I met Sweary. I didn't meet Suda Fifty One. But I know someone who could do that. It's hmm. a good suggestion, Ryoma. <laughs> Trag, you're right. That's the correct answer. Trag 2. The greatest game of all time. Diablo-style action RPG except you're a regular household item that has been anthropomorphized and you must do battle with other household items. That's a good idea. Uh, yes. I was like, hey, Suda51. He was like, please. And I was like, no, you don't. Do not, do not give me that nonsense. 
Incredible Crisis spiritual successor. I've never actually played Incredible Crisis before. I'll just do Kickstarter, get $3 million, and just sit on that money for years. Everything but... Oh, Cerebus. Wah, wah. I see you, you've been... You're digging into uh, Seward's bag of, bag of jokes. Michael's lab coat. Look at how cool this is, this whole lab coat switching thing. This is amazing. Pepsi Men spiritual successor, also excellent suggestion. I think you guys might have gone a little off the rails now, however. Huh. Nice work today, Michael. Royal Crown Man. Now, if only my sister would come back. Whoa! We completed the scene. This is amazing. I want to rip off this game so bad. Oh, cool. Hotel worse than dusk. Worse than dusk. How's that? Like I said, I've got three surprises for you guys this year. I know. Oh, Lana was the chief? Wait, what? Huh. Oh, we got 50 more minutes. Let's see how far. We actually made crazy good progress. I hope what's going to happen. Whoa. Open that door. These camera angles are really, really cool. First person escape room. <laughs> Cerebus, it's really funny you mentioned that. It's very funny you mentioned that. Hey, wait, she's like a living person. Oh, no kidding, service. I didn't know. Right, just like a was it was it Dagon Ropa as well that had the um uh Moon Lane Syndrome mini game in there? I like her shoes. Looks like he could kick some serious ass with those shoes. Da -na -na -na. The Chief's lab coat. Oh, cool. Shoemaker Sim. Oh, neat. Now we're back here. Cool, cool, cool. Man, this game is effing sweet. This is definitely high on my list. I'm definitely going to find an actual physical copy of this just to... Just to get... Oh, crap. 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 Buttons. How do they work? Uh, let's do this before we save. Eternal darkness. Let's carry some of this stuff. Boom, 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 and she's dead. I wish there was more sound effects for that kind of stuff. Take the astral piece. We solved it. We did it. That's really cool. I, I man, I love these little stories. These are so sweet. You're getting such a great sort of um, payoff for all this stuff. It's like when I remember would you know play do like a side story in something like Skyrim, where you sort of be sent all over the place and you sort of would wrap up something, and then the result of that quest would make you think about certain areas or scenarios differently. I like that a lot, and this kind of has a similar feel. No, I mean a second physical copy, Namova. We're totally legit here, of course. Don't be, don't be foolish. Um, 
so. <laughs> oh, apparently we can dig in here. I like that chair. It's a nicely rendered chair. Oh, we're just sort of. Oh! That's the first time we've had to pick up an object since the beginning of the game. I didn't even remember that was a that was a mechanic. Don't worry, Nambuva. Just don't uh, don't swap me, bro. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Bus is this? Key to the safe. Oh, right on. Da -da -da -da. Excellent. We're just doing great. We're doing great, everybody. Safe was in here, I think. Look how well designed this is. You're sort of working within a circle, generally, so that you're not just needlessly backtracking. Like, it's actually designed well to keep you moving in the general right direction. There's so many indie games that come out today that have no sense of design, and they would have made me go 17 screens back and expect me to remember where it is. But this is classy. Key to the safe. Oh, that's funny. I thought I saw something. It's the key to the safe, however. Uh, let's check, let's check that item again. I thought I saw that. L6, R2, L5. So left 6, right 2, uh, L, or left 5. Oh, uh, wait. L6, 6. Uh, do we have to go all the way around like a real save? 2. All right, Keena, take care, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for your uh, ideas and opinion. <laughs> it's it's a great. Hold on. Left six, right two, L five. Crap. Let's do it this way. See what happens. We should have to go all the way around, but maybe it's not the way it's designed. Huh? I'm gonna check this out again. Um. <laughs> it was left. Oh my god. Am I getting like all? Uh, the mini game of the game. <laughs> that's actually a really good idea, Serapis. That's a really good idea. Someone, that's, yep. Someone's going to do that. I'm just going to use this herb, by the way, because I just realized we're at half health. <laughs> right, checks, bro. I never, wa I never want to make the games that are like easy wins. You hear that? You're like, instant, instant game money. But I'm always like, oh, what's the game about like feelings and stuff? Ha! Deal. Uh, okay, uh, L6, R2, L5. Left 6, right 2, L5. Why is this so hard? Left 6. R2. Left 5. Oh! Ah, okay. At least we know... We can do it again. Okay, let's try that again. So you don't have to go all the way around. Okay.
Oh, I love how they have these. Ah, okay, you gotta highlight it. Use the key. This is great. Clunk, clunk. Ooh, new documents. Ancient code document. That sounds serious. Let's look this. This is a document from the laboratory. Laboratory, it explains how to read ancient symbols. Read. This document contains all the information regarding the ancient script uncovered near the Clancy residence. Cerberus, that is a very good point. They're rich, they got lots of saves. The major characteristics of the language should, uh, used has have been deciphered, but this document Excuse me, it's by no means complete. It can, however, be used for on-the-spot translations. Because of the sensitive nature of this information, this document should not be removed from the head facility without my express permission. Herman Majorel. Herman Majorel, in my defense service, I had to save with two objects in it, in worse than death. Uh, head of the RNC research facility. Oh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> what can I say, man? Trendsetter. Tastemaker. Oh, okay. So I'm... I gotta go to speak. I'm just gonna do a quick save. Then we have to go speak to the two other ghosts. That's right, because you always gotta send the ghosts off to heaven and or hell, I guess. So I gotta make sure I'm equipped as the chief and then go talk to them, and we can go from there. And we'll do that real quick, and then we can sign off for the night. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, uh, Chief Slavko, okay, good. Let's do this. There definitely needs to be some sound effect there. It's very anticlimactic. It's kind of like a sad thing when they go, so it'd be cool to be able to uh, kind of get that payoff. They must have put that, put that bench up there for smokers. Okay, so talk to him now. Oh, he is here. He's just hard to see from the doorway. We're just awash in astral pieces. Is this different? Oh, this is the same. Okay, well, I'm gonna... We're just gonna get out of here. Uh, and it looks like we have a ways to go to get to the kind of next chapter. So I'm gonna just save and then we'll uh, have to sign off for now. This was fun. Man, this game is like... Once we got the... The, um, what you call it? The wrench from the dog, everything just kind of went very smoothly. It's a very well-designed game. There's like a few things. <laughs> Never thought it's so true. Uh, because of the coronavirus, there is no, um, uh, no uh, roll up the rim this year at Tim Hortons. They're just doing a digital version, which is sort of funny. I'm surprised the entire country isn't in revolt. I just realized that save icon is, I guess, like his girlfriend looking all freaking freaked out. That's pretty messed up. We did it. That was amazing. This game is awesome. Well, that's it. That's the next chapter of Echo Knight 2. 
We still have, oh boy. Oh no, we're, we're, uh, let's see here. We're over halfway through, I think. I think we might be able to do this in two more sessions. I'll see about, uh, um, uh, I'll see what, I guess we'll see whether we're going to do this, continue on next week. I'm fine to play this again next week if you guys want, but, uh, we can also dip into something else for a while. Um, nice, nice name of a, uh, but that was great, man. This game is super smooth. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, that was amazing. Thanks, everyone, for uh, stopping by again. And if you're just lurking somewhere, not in the chat, uh, you can check us out at BenjaminRivers.com or at BenjaminRivers on Twitter, uh, at BenjaminRiversInc on um, Instagram and here at Twitch and YouTube, of course. And um, we're going to continue playing some games next Wednesday, whether it's this one or someone else. So thanks, everyone, for coming out for chat and uh, all the feedback. So we'll talk to you guys next time. See you later.